Uh, he said, oh, no, you can't go on it. I got really uh, angry because I was like a, an emotionally unregulated child and then just punched him in the d- instead. <laughs> 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 everybody and welcome to the worst pre ever podcast. We are re-recording this intro because we never introduced anyone. My name is Gabby and today with me we have Kath. Hello, how are we doing? And we have Jake. Hello. Who absolutely botched up the f***ing <laughs> intro. Yeah, this is the third, this is the third attempt, yeah. I'll point out. Yep, we've got Ellis. Hello. How's it going? And we've got Alex. Hi. Okay, I was about to say, <laughs> this is a podcast. We need some audio. You can't, you can't just Alex. stare into the I void. I can stare and they can just hear me stare. Well. <laughs> Excellent. Um, my deepest apologies for what you're about to listen to, and hopefully next time we will do better. Enjoy. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Welcome to the worst pre made ever podcast. Hello. We're back. That was an air horn. We're back after, uh, how long has it been since the last one? Like, Three, three years? Three years? Yeah, I'd say like three that. years, give or take. So if you've been waiting all this time on the, the <laughs> podcasting channel for three years, like, oh, I wonder if we're going to do any more episodes. It is here! They've it's arrived! Sitting we're back! On the, the channel. Yeah, yes, exactly. Exactly. for so, three years. <laughs> doing absolutely nothing. Just constantly hitting refresh. Come on, they're going to do it any time now. Um, so yes, welcome back. It's uh, it, this, So this, it's not only on YouTube now, it's also on Spotify and all major and Amazon uh, podcasts. And it and actually Apple is podcasts. this time, unlike and last and time. Yes. Apple Music as well, isn't it? Yeah. And Apple, it's bloody everywhere. Because last time Come we were like, us. oh, we're going to uh, get it on uh, Spotify. We never actually got around to doing it. Mm. So it is now officially everywhere. So welcome if you're joining us on the audio version on podcasting platforms. Um, this is audio. Va- this is already uh, also available in a video version on YouTube. To search uh, youtube.com slash WPE podcast. It's something like that, isn't it? And then... Um, <laughs> yeah, it's just something like that. <laughs> Mate, basically. if you just biff something like that in, <laughs> yeah. just hope that it will turn Such up. It'll, it'll find promotion. us. There's not any other ones called Worst Premier to Ever Podcast. And then um, if oh, you're on the video ooh. version and you fancy going out and about and listening to the audio version, then you can just go to your favourite podcasting platform, search WP Podcast, and we'll come right up. Just look for the uh, very good illustrations that Nick has done. Oh, not illustrations, they're 3D <laughs> renders, aren't they? Well, that's a pretty good preamble. What? Yeah, no, no, I'm not, I'm just, I'm watching, I've been watching Alex, just put Alex, Alex pulling all the going, faces <laughs> and all the reactions to you stumbling over shit. It's really funny. Uh, <laughs> it's you know, I'm, I'm just terrible at doing intros to stuff, but like, I, was I, we know. Say, I couldn't tell. You, you, were, <laughs> you were saying, Jake, about yeah. uh, there's no one else called Worst Premium Ever. Yeah. And on that note, I just wanted to touch on the fact that apparently we have people trying to scam in our audience now. What? That yeah. Yeah, you bloody scammers. That happens yeah. on a lot of channels as they get bigger, though. You get those yeah. prize. I don't know why. We've had two, channels. actually. Yeah. yeah. We've got two. Two. Yeah. Two, se- wow. two separate channels. How many have Telegram you clicked? <laughs> <laughs> Two, actually. I've only lost four thousand pounds. Okay. <laughs> no, I the really wanted one. that prize. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, that's a good thing. We should use this as a PSA to say, don't click on the on the Telegram yeah, don't, link. Don't, yeah. Or no. Or here's one. Just don't click on random links. Yeah. 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 PSA. Don't do it. But on a very negative but positive note. <laughs> How cool is it that we're big enough to have people try and scam our audience? I know, right? <laughs> yeah. That's so when cursed. Uh, that's when you know you've made... Well, not really, I mean, I've, been, like I've been scamming one. them for years. No one's called yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how many times do you change your name to charity now? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's so good. Donate to charity, every everybody. Year. It's oh, good, I yeah. swear. Um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's good, I think. Uh, but, yeah, don't click any of the links that if you see... Like, we basically, we won't reply to you in the comments, okay? Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. Unless it's, like, a really funny thing or it's, I don't know, you're famous, then we might do it. Yeah. Um, basically, yeah. you're not important enough, so we're not going to reply. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's not... Oh, I used to reply to all the comments, like, back in the day, but when we were yeah. getting, like... Yeah, but that's, like, when you get four you. comments. Yeah, when, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Four yeah. comments a video, it's fine. When you get like four hundred, it's um, a day. <laughs> it's yeah. impossible to reply to them. Um, oh, so you just never so, yeah. know who you're replying to. Mm-hmm. And yeah, well, it's difficult now, I think, to trust people as much because sometimes you get people who take your messages and they'll just edit it in Photoshop and things like that. So, like, you know, I've seen people on the internet do some crazy stuff when when mm-hmm. talking to I don't know, content creators. Yeah, that's why I, I never reply to like. 
if it's like stuff about the editing process yeah like, it's like you can't like no matter what you edit that to yeah, so if the question anyway, before, the if the question before is, is well, oh, how do you do this subtitle you thing? Keyframe in yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. How do you, how do you do this little sort of this sort of animation? They change and they change my response to, well, you're a you're, yeah, with all the senses. <laughs> <sensors. laughs> That it's obvious sorry, that it's Ellis, not, can you just uh, do that again? Because I didn't yeah, quite sorry, get what, what they were saying. Well, I, I realised that the sort of thing that would get us in trouble, I can't say. Yeah, you can. No, well, you can't with, because no, it's like slurs and stuff, isn't it? So well, you can't with, say anything. Oh, 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 yeah, no, don't. No, yeah, no, so no, I can't wait, say Wait, wait, wait. So Jake, are you telling him to say the slurs? Yeah, but no, that's the sort of thing. Ellis, easy, boss. Backpedaling, back yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's the sound of <laughs> turn that treadmill on backwards and yeah. get running, <laughs> and then fall off. Oh, it. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. No, it's it's all good. Uh, but but like the, like what they what they what would they add? Like just like you abusing people and stuff. Yeah, well, that, like, that, that's yeah. that's what they do. Yeah, or they like um, I've I've seen people like rewrite Discord messages to make it look like they're um, trying to get nudes off them and things like that. Yeah, because oh, Discord, yeah. If, you, if you delete something from Discord, it doesn't show as it's been deleted. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. pretty messed up. So, so it doesn't show a message has been deleted. It will just take get rid of the message. Yeah, you know, anyone can put anything in that in its place. Mm -hmm. But but then how do people get around? Like, uh, uh, like they people go to prison. Doing that? They go to prison. Well, there's, there's no defense trial or anything. Well, all you need to do is take proof. a screenshot of what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Slap that into Photoshop. Figure out what the font is that Discord uses. Change the background color to neutral, and then just put something in its place. Yep. Boom, I easy. I hope it yep, uses done. papyrus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you know what I miss? Do you remember um, MSN Messenger? Oh, yeah, and you could just like change. Yeah, I'll change Alex the already taps yeah. out of this conversation. No, I, I, like, I, no, I, I used it like that. once that or twice. I wasn't alive. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but they what they had MSN Messenger was it like plus or something like that, and you could break it so you could. Do you remember nudging? Yeah, oh, yes. Mm -hmm. And I <laughs> used to sit there for an hour and just nudge the absolute <laughs> living shit out of my mates back then. So you know, it was, oh, it was so good. Yeah, it was used for bullying. <laughs> Speaking of stuff like that, did any of you play Habbo Hotel? Yes. Uh, yes. No, did I? Never, I? Never Goonscape was my uh, was my <laughs> social game. Yeah. Oh, I'm wondering. pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I nearly. I don't know if this will make it in the podcast, but we'll say it anyway. I'm pretty sure I nearly got groomed on Habbo Hotel. <laughs> That's not surprising. <laughs> what? I am That's not terrifying. I am not. Even I do remember surprised. almost grooming you that one time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. PSA: Grooming is not funny. But Jake, you can't just drop. This is why I said it might. Yeah, this is why I said it might not make it in, just in case it does. I'm sure it'll be uh, fine. But yeah, there's. Uh, what you want so to... I'm just looking at the nodes grooming. <laughs> grooming maybe needs to be cut. <laughs> 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 this is, uh, we've got a little document on the side here. Nix has written, oh, written in. Uh, grooming maybe needs to be cut. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's okay. I mean, okay, so it is a personal experience, though. Yeah. So do you. I mean. What, do you want to talk about that, or do you yeah. want to move on? I'll, I'll happily talk about it, but just cut it out if, it, if it's not yeah, appropriate. Jake, Jake, this is a safe space. Okay. I think it'll be alright, as long as it's yeah, like... It's not like... Fine. It's not as if we're endorsing it. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sponsored by... <laughs> no, right, oh, Alex, God. shut the fuck up. Yeah. Jake, do you want to... Uh, yeah, I basically just got asked uh, my penis size on, on Habbo Hotel <laughs> by someone. <laughs> <laughs> the size of a thimble. How old were you? Oh, I don't know, like, like fourteen, fifteen. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> so so bad. Out, that can't be the, the, the first in like the first <laughs> just right? walking along. Oh, big penis. <laughs> Do you mean like? Wow. I don't know if that's considered grooming because you can just ask people like their penis size. That's fine. <laughs> that's yeah. Well, yeah, it's that's definitely true. inappropriate messaging yeah, to yeah, a yeah. minor. It, well, you don't know how old you know how old they were. Uh, no, apparently they're the same age as me. But like looking apparently, back, now, yeah, they're gonna say that. Looking looking back at now, I'm like, nah, that's definitely. And not. it's just that <laughs> guy okay. from the fucking. <laughs> you know that? Oh, do you remember that show when we were younger? And it would be like, um, oh, I can't remember the name of it. The dude who used to stand in the kitchen, and you'd be meeting up with like a, a younger person that you've been messaging online, and then they'd catch you out for it, and then send you to to jail. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What was that uh, called? That. To catch a predator, I think it was. Oh yeah, yeah. Hold on, I need to. Oh yes, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. To catch a predator, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, it wasn't like specifically grooming, I guess, but like it could have ended up uh, in that sphere. 
if like if it continued and I wasn't tech savvy to get out of there. But it was at, it was at like the hotel bar and I was just like. <laughs> I have to go now. <laughs> oh, so I kind of walked off. The thing is, polite. this was in Habbo Hotel. I'm also imagining it just happening to you at a hotel bar. You just sat there and someone comes yeah. to make you. Just sit down. So, uh, what's the size of your how penis? Big's your, how big's your <laughs> penis? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I left. But yeah, it's all good. I'm okay. Look, nothing happened. I know, but my heart breaks for little 14-year-old Jake who was just trying to have a good time on Habbo Hotel. I was just trying to complete the maze rooms, okay? Yeah. It's quite good doing this um, offline, just in case... We there is anything, anything horrible that needs to be cut <laughs> out. I think it's all yeah, fun. exactly, yeah. I think, yeah, I have some pretty horrific memories on um, Neopets as well. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, because you, you would be hanging out and you'd be playing a game. Um, all of those Flash games that they used to have on Neopets. And Still obviously, Neopets. if you wrote the word penis into <laughs> Neopets, you would be instabanned. So uh, <laughs> really? what people yeah. used what? to do is they would sext in leet speak. Oh, in what? Leet yeah. speak? You know leet speak, like when you replace letters with uh, with numbers. And oh stuff. right, I didn't know that was so, called, but yeah, yeah. No oh, boobs, yeah. like eight o. Yeah, eight o. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you would just be like, "How big are your boobs?" But spell eight zero zero eight five. Imagine um, sexting through fucking Neopets. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. What oh, the hell? God. <laughs> so it was weird because like you had all the chat forums, you'd be on there being like, "How do I get more Neo points, please?" And then it would be like boobies, <laughs> <laughs> <How> big boobies. <laughs> eight zero 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 eight five s. Yeah, Wait, it that was eight for boobs. <laughs> I, I shit wow. you not. Neopets was like, in my opinion, the wild west because you just never knew who you were gonna stumble upon. It was yeah, it was a weird time. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I remember playing. I remember playing it on like a fifty six k modem, and like some of the images sometimes would just take ages to load. So like. You'd never know what the hell was going on. <laughs> It'd take like a minute for everything to load in. I used, yeah. to, I used yeah. to love doing, I remember doing like old bits of homework when when you first were allowed to like type your homework instead of having to handwrite it and print it off and people you realize you could put like pictures in as references and then, <laughs> but then you'd have to try and download the picture to get it onto your like Word 2003 document or whatever and it'd be yeah. like... V oh yeah! Oh, the <laughs> lines, like slowly yeah. loaded the on your page. Trying to watch oh, porn back good. in the well, look at porn pictures back in the day was wild. Yeah, like, oh, nose! <laughs> oh, nearly your boobs. neck! Really <laughs> Internet in cuts out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mum goes off. Well, Mum! <laughs> Phone goes off. Yeah. Mid -tug. First episode <laughs> of the podcast relaunch, and we're already talking about being groomed on Habbo Hotel and uh, porn back in the. Yeah, exactly. Great. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. It's like Hello. nothing's changed. Yeah, literally, has nothing's, nothing's 2003 changed. 2003 dial-up porn. <laughs> Yeah. Also, in the editor's notes, Nick has written, grooming maybe needs to be cut, brackets, at least Gabby's, at least cut Gabby's bit. What's that in reference to? Because the bit where you went and cut this, Nick. The you complained about. Yeah. What, so we're keeping grooming in there then? Yeah, why not? <laughs> you're not, you're not, it's just a conversation. It's not like we yeah, are saying so it's, it's, it's a real life thing that actually happens. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, Nick just put in there, tell them to stop reading my notes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nick, we'll stop. Sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> told off. Oh, sorry, Nick. Sorry. Uh, well, since, Nick. since we're on social media stuff, something that I, I, I read recently, uh, and it's been sort of shoved under the carpet. So apparently this happened like February, March time. I don't know exact. Don't quote me on that. Um, so, you know, obviously Facebook rebranded itself to Meta. Because it yeah. became the Metaverse. Yeah. It was mm -hmm. like this big thing. Never understood the Meta. It's, it's like... Um, <laughs> uh, I was about to give you an anime reference, but you're not going to understand it. You're not going to get the anime um, reference. It's no. like Tron, but in real life. Oh. Right, like bikes and shit. No, no, like like, no. like a digital world to live in. That's oh, the idea. Why can't you just live in the real world? <laughs> I, 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 it's, it's dumb. I, it, it, it would make dumb. sense if you could have like a full dive type thing where, you know, you could have your senses, feelings and everything in there. But obviously it's just like, bit like um, it's going to be like VR chat on steroids. A bit like Ready Player One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that, that sort of thing. Yeah. I think we're a couple of hundred years too early to yes. that. Um, so um, obviously they, they put a lot of time and a lot of money into it. And, is this uh, the metaverse they, we're talking about? Yeah, the metaverse. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Carry on, uh, yeah. But they have they have shut down their metaverse project after rebranding their entire company to Meta and everything else. The the Meta has been slowly but surely like pushed under. They have a, had a division called Reality Labs, which have been basically shuttered. Right. Have have a guess. 
have a guess at how much they spent in two years. Oh, uh, oh, oh, I think I know this. I actually read it up. It's some, it like just on the metaverse. Can I have a like, complete guess? Go on, yeah, I, I, oh, I yeah. know the answer. You 50 go. 50 billion. No, wait, 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 oh, wait. Okay. 69 billion. Oh, no. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> yeah. nice. That's Go my on, final answer. What, uh, did you, what, what, did you, what do you remember? I, I read it was like $10 billion. And so like, it, was, it was 24 billion. Oh, my God. Over 24 two, billion. Over two years. And I think the one that you read was last year, which is 2022, was 13.7 billion on its own. Oh my god, that's insane. Where I, does that money go? I have no idea. absolutely into no idea. Into the abyss. Right into Zuckerberg's pockets. Oh, yeah, I, mean, just... I, mean, I I think it's like <laughs> AI plus uh, like funding for AI. I imagine lots of very expensive computers, lots of very intelligent people who charge a fucking fortune for their time. Um, I don't understand. Have you, like, have you, seen, yeah. have you seen his Mental. avatar? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, it looked, cra- it looked crap. I'll put it like, in the in the Discord I, for you. <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ! Oh yeah, <laughs> it, looks, it looks awful. Oh, God, so bad. It looks it's like, like him. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like him. In he real looks life. even more like a lizard than he does normally. <laughs> I mean that that the, there's like a 3D render terrible. that we're looking at right now, and that looks better than uh, like the, the the videos that I've seen of the actual meta. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. And that the, looks awful. <laughs> the videos that I've seen look like a game from like 2000 and what 2005, yeah. 2006, maybe lo- like a free online social media yeah. game from that sort of time period. It looks like when VR first came out and the only games you could play was like, you could just like look around a room. Yeah. <laughs> so it, was, it was like weird. My favorite game looking. Well, that, that was uh, legit. The, the only explore. time I've used VR was with something like that. It was during a, during a game jam. And there was a guy who was working in BAE, I think. Mm. Either BAE or Boeing or, you know, one of the, yeah, one yeah, of the yeah. aerospace guys. Yeah. Who, and he was developing, um, uh, I think it was military related, but like training stuff with VR. And right, he had it's probably, a, it's probably more likely BAE then. Yeah, he had an early dev kit for the HTC Vive before it had been released to the public. And he brought it along right at the end to to let everyone have a go. And literally, the only thing you could do with it was you could go in there. It had created like a blank open space. It was one of the ones where you could walk where you actually walked rather than having like the the, the warpy teleporty thing that oh, most yeah. others now. So you actually walked in the space and. It's literally you had your two hands which were floating with the controllers mm. and you could spawn balloons and you could buff them about and that was it that's someone that's... say balloons yeah. awesome. <laughs> that's Gabby's literally there she's like sign me up yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was, it was awesome the um, awesome have you now seen <laughs> have you seen rt games video on the metaverse no uh, um, not yet it, th- there is the legit part where they play around with balloons and they spawn them in and stuff <laughs> right okay and he's like the basically the takeaway of the video was i don't I, I can't remember exactly what he said but he's like what what the actual fuck is this because yeah. this is essentially uh uh oh, what, what's, the, is it, uh, what's the what's the chat thing VR chat, but VR like, chat, yeah, yeah. Like, it's, it's bad VR chat, but yeah. it costs about a hundred, t- hundred thousand times more mm-hmm. to develop it. As yeah. soon as someone says anything to do with balloons, it reminds me of. Um, <laughs> do, you, do you remember that Rugrats game on like the PlayStation One, and you used to run around and pop all the balloons? Yeah. Never yeah. played it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I remember seeing it. Yeah, yeah. Basically, just that. So, mm. but just to go back a, a second, we've spent as a, I guess. It's humanity has spent what was it twenty four billion mm-hmm. mm. yeah. on this well, venture. The fact that, well, the meta company has spent twenty four billion. Well, pounds, yes, but as a species, not including we decided that other stuff. Someone this said way. this was a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the yeah. lizard in charge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what? What now? What happened? So you're what? telling us that it's just shut the bed and it's shut down. The, 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 that's the rumors. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know. If, obviously, I've done it for definite, but. What's this Apparently article been Shut up shop. Mark Zuckerberg quietly buries the yeah. metaverse. That's it, yeah. But if the oh, metaverse so has owns Facebook now. No, no, no. no, 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 so, no, no, so, no, no. So, meta is still It was just a rebrand. Company. Yeah, so right. Meta owns Facebook, Meta owns Instagram, Meta yeah. owns WhatsApp. It's and like, also the metaverse. Yeah, it's like Alphabet being it's to Google. Google. Okay. It's just an umbrella umbrella name. It's yeah. not like yeah. um Also, I think Oh, was it was it was it Facebook who was made sold Giphy? Yeah. So, as an aside, I just remember something else that I read. Like, this is happening at the same time. So Facebook bought Giphy. If you know right. what that is, yeah. it's the GIF, um, yeah. GIF the little platform that allows. If you don't know, it's the little platform that allows you to put animated um, animated GIFs into things like Twitter and uh, Discord, Discord and all loads of other social media platforms. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So Facebook, so Meta bought 
Giphy for like um, 400 and something million dollars. 500 million dollars, give or take. I can't remember the exact figures. I haven't got it up. Um, and then the UK Competitions Authority was like, no, bad, bonk. You've got to sell it because obviously that meant they, they could stop other social media platforms from using animated mm. GIFs. Oh, because they right. own GIF because Meta owned Giphy, so they were yeah. forced to sell it. So they owned it for three years and then were forced to sell it. They sold it for forty nine million dollars after spending nearly half a bit, half a billion on it. Ooh, <laughs> oh my god, that is a loss. Yeah, that is yeah, it's, it's brutal. It's like Ooh. like Meta are just really good at wasting money. Like, yeah, they've done a really a fantastic <laughs> well, job of they, burning through money. Yeah, yeah. But they own Facebook. Everyone knows the. Worst social media platform to ever exist, ever will exist. In your opinion. No, it's not my opinion. Well, just... no, because we have to include that. No, <laughs> I know, but it's, oh, so, and it's And it's not in my opinion, because in my opinion, the worst one that's ever been created is TikTok. Oh, I see. Oh, so, yeah. okay. That no. one's interesting, because uh, I think there's a lot of information to potentially back that one up. Mm. Um, yeah, that's the, that's that's why there's a lot of, especially yeah. with the, on the algor algorithmic side of things, I think it's... Um, it's probably the most toxic thing I have ever read because it is purposefully manipulative. No, it's yeah. TikTok, mm -hmm. not toxic. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I Got think him. I, the one thing that I experienced with TikTok, and I, I found it really hard to self-regulate when scrolling yeah, all that stuff, is just like I would wake up the next day with something akin to a hangover. And I realized it's almost like this dopamine hangover where you're so used to like, watch a video, watch a video, bad, bad. Oh, that one's interesting. Uh, 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 oh, okay. And so you get stuck on this thing, like looking for the next hit. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's, yeah, it's basically like gambling for entertainment. It's literally intrinsic in TikTok's design, which is why I yeah. hate it so much. Yeah. And something that's making me really frustrated now is because I've tried to remove it from my life is that you can't go onto any other social media platform without them having integrated some form of TikTok, mm -hmm. shorts, thing, yeah. reels, and like, it, it does my fucking head in, man. Yeah, it drives yeah. me mad. It's horrible. I, I genuinely loathe it. But the thing it's is, just... is that I can't stop myself if it's there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, same. Well, that's 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 the problem. That's the reason why I dislike it. I don't, I don't you know, if people want to post crap 30 second videos of them being a complete tit on whatever platform go for it knock yourself mm -hmm. out yeah the problem i have is with the the underlying manipulation to addict people to it that's my, yeah uh, same yeah. as um same issue with loot boxes with gambling adverts etc etc mm -hmm. it's all about yeah they want to get uh, as much as they'll say no 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 we don't want people addicted we'll put you know uh, restrictions on so people can put restrictions on themselves of course it <laughs> i'll give yeah. you i'll yeah. give you Fuck a really off. a really good comparison is dating sites because as much as people use oh, them to meet people, they are designed to keep you to use, using them. Really? Yeah. They are I've, I've, never you, I've, I've, I've never had experience. No, I've never they're not them designed them. for you to actually ever like properly form something from it. They're, right, okay. They're I'd designed to it, get you to... I'd that's, why they lock, quite... sorry, that's why they lock everything behind a paywall. Decent about that. Oh. Uh, okay, I could see that. Yeah, I, 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 imagine I, I have no they're, experience. They're probably quite similar to the to the swiping mechanic that's in TikTok because mm. they kind of feed you uh, yeah. like every four or five videos. They'll give you like a good one, and yeah. it's that action of like pot like the next swipe might get you a good de a good yeah. video mm. that you're gonna like, um, and it's the might get you a hot bird. <laughs> yeah, no, they'll put out like they'll give you four or five people who are just like obviously not to your taste, yeah. which in to your perspective would be like unattractive for yeah. example you know say say you had you found people like myself or like kath or whatever with piercings and whatnot incredibly unattractive they would put those people for people who looked like that who had those traits that you are not swiping for yeah mm. together and then give you the one person at the end of that group who you are swipe who you for, of the type of person that you are swiping for yeah mm. the same as the four bad videos one good video yeah yeah. But then, do, do they lock? Do they actually genuinely lock the? Pe this is going to locking them away. Do they lock the people away that like that would be uh, that you would go for behind no. the paywall? They don't. Um, no, they can. Some oh, they can. of some of them do. So I won't name any. But there's one specific one. Basically, you've got the regular. You know, yes, no 
lot. But then if you go over to like the next page, you get like a list of 10. And obviously they're all amazing, but you get one, like I'll call it a super like, you mm. get one for free every week. And they're, these people are like, they're like the, the cream of the crop. They look, you know, mm. in your- they, they fit your taste perfectly sort yeah. of thing, yeah. Mm. You can like one, unless you pay for more of these super likes, which are like, like two quid for one super like. Yeah. Well, I say super. That's like. crazy, man. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I've had, I've had experiences on dating apps before. And I think there's something to be said about the apps themselves and the way that they try and hook you into mm. using them. And there's also mm. something to be said about the people who usually, not everyone, usually tend to be on there. Because I have met my fair share of sociopaths on those apps. Yeah, I can imagine. And I, I can shit imagine. you not. I'm feeling called out right now. Well, no, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> but no, no, no. I, I, okay. Look. We, okay, this is going to be a podcast and anyone in their fucking dog can make a podcast nowadays, right? Mm, yeah. So all of this shit talking <laughs> means nothing. We have no experience in anything, but I swear to fucking God, if you're one of those people who writes in their bio of a dating app that your hobby is coffee, <laughs> yeah. your interest is coffee, you better be a fucking uh coffee roaster like, or like yeah, a manufacturer barista. <laughs> yeah. yeah you better okay. make um, fucking coffee and love it for a living because yeah. the, the amount of people it's like so my interests are coffee and going for walks and i'm like <laughs> and what yourself. and what anything yeah. else um, Gabby, i really like water and yeah. air <laughs> in, 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 uh, in one of mine i have to use to um my interests uh, coffee is in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the problem is get a grip. No, the problem the problem with it is is that a lot of the interest they're not there's 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 too many, but there's also like not enough that I can relate to. Mm. Like, uh, where's oh, the can you not write them in manually yourself? So they they like, no, they're all they're you all pre. Take it from like a list. Yeah. Oh, for. F Oh, what fuck? No, the thing is, it's food. Like the, the category it's in is food and drink, and you've got coffee, beer, bubble tea. Fish and chips, foodie, <laughs> gin, pizza, Sunday roast, sushi, sweet tooth, tea, vegan, vegetarian, whiskey, wine. Like, if I put whiskey, I'm an alcoholic. If yeah, exactly. <laughs> what the fuck? That's insane. So, what's, what else do they have on there? Is, um, that, is, that, is that just drinks pet, and food? Pet. Or? Uh, no, let's go pets. Uh, that's the all first, you can have. <laughs> the first one, beekeeping. <gasps> yeah. Whoa! But that's what? not <laughs> birds, cats, have, dogs. Who the fuck's gonna have beekeeping as their like as, as the, one of their hobbies? But if you have like genuine beekeeper. the thing is in this pet section, there's not even like a horse, so you can't even say you're a horse girl. <laughs> <There's no laughs> to horse. be fair, shout out to all the whores. Ho all the whores. <laughs> shout out to all the whores out there. <laughs> Keep it up. No, yeah. all the horse girls. Sorry, it's the Scottish accent made that one a bit of a tumble. Whores. <laughs> all the whores. <laughs> Girls. <laughs> All the horse girls who every school ever, you know, you were iconic. And we all know who you yes. are. And that that to me just like <laughs> Were you a horse girl, Kath? Oh, Kath no. horse girl, yeah. oh, Did you no. used to like go down the hallway pretending that you would trot? <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. And did he have a did you have a long... In my defense, I did actually horse ride like every week so you wear the horse girl I, yeah, yeah she was a literal horse yeah girl. you would be like horse riding did you have horsey magazines i yeah holy shit yeah. why yeah. do you think i still collect my little pony <laughs> oh my god it ties into that it all makes sense now and like any <laughs> any sort of like movie that came out that was like fantasy related that had horses i had to collect the figures of the horses Spirit so, the like, horse. When all the Lord of the Rings films came out, I had like a Cephaloth, Shadowfax, Brago, like I had all of the fucking horses from <laughs> But none Lord of the, the actual Rings. characters. <laughs> yeah. I was like, nah, fuck the rest of it. Like I think I probably had like I know I had a Cephaloth with Arwen and Frodo who like actually fit onto a Cephaloth during like the when they run away from the ring race yeah. and um Fellowship of the Ring. Um, so they were like shaped to like fit on the horse and stay there. Um, but yeah. Fucking hell. Oh, I distinctly awesome. remember in primary school, there was a specific horse girl. And the only things I can really recall about her, her mum had one arm. 
That is <laughs> it's not relevant. That's the only That's thing I recall. Plenty of relations. Relevant. I know. Oh, oh. But it's weird how you like how you how your memory does that, isn't it? Like, yeah, exactly. well, I think yeah. as a kid, you must find that so fascinating because you're like, I don't understand what's happening here. Yeah. yeah, you're trying to piece it together. I don't. That's really interesting because I think as a kid, we all go through phases of either collecting or being fascinated with stuff. Um, mm -hmm. And so, okay, so Kath was a horse girl. I have to slow that sentence down. Horseology. <laughs> Yeah, okay, that makes sense. And Ellis yeah. was Persian rugs and... <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. If we're talking like the, the like in-school type of sessions when we were younger, it would, it's always been um, military history. <laughs> it's always been How military history. How old were you when you got interested in military history? Oh, young. Like, oh, man. <laughs> I, I was you know, so back, good. Way... Way he was born way. with a general cap on. I no, was like, like, <laughs> a three-year-old being like, if I had a bit of No, like, what? like way back when I'd, um, I'd, I, I used to have like, you know, the, uh, the sort of classic green and tan little plastic army men and things like that, you know, the... Oh, like from Toy Story. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so I'd like, used to, used to like do big battles and stuff with those and then had, like, we had a huge collection of um, oh, really wow. old school like, 80s and 90s like action men stuff. Mm. Mm. And from there, I sort of started getting into the, you know, uh, 40K and all the sort of more sci-fi stuff. And then at, at that time, I was old enough then to start reading um, sort of younger people's books to do with World War II. So there's a, there's a particular series. I, I've been trying to remember for the life of me what it was. But basically, I, it's, if any of you have read it, you'll, um, you'll recognize it. They had, um, they, the character was called John Smith. And they were, it was multiple <laughs> different stories set in each, the, each like the sort of sectors of, of the wars so there was stuff in the pacific stuff in the desert uh stuff in the pl in over like battle of britain all that sort of thing and it was like a 200 page book that was like designed what? for designed to ex like explain what happened from a first person point of view but for mm. like you know nine to 13 or so we had oh, okay. such different childhoods. So That's I started crazy. reading those. And I, that, that was also the point where I'd gotten into doing, um, like building airfix and stuff. So I was building uh, oh, you know, Spitfires yeah. and Lancasters and all that sort of thing in small scale. My dad was taking me to Duxford to go and watch air shows and things like that. There is. Yep. Um, did you ever play uh, a game? There were by, it was by a company called Talonsoft. Does that ring any bells? Yes. And um, there was like, ah, uh, oh, what was it? It was the- <laughs> Excitement the, is voice. <laughs> It was like the Napoleonic War. Uh, game. It's like a it's like a hex a hexy a hex grid uh, strategy game. And so there was nearly one. All of my get all the games <laughs> I used to play were were hex based. Uh, back in yeah, were hex based stuff. Uh, hang on, a second. I'm just going to Google it now. Are you talking about anything about Battlegr the Battleground series? Yes. Yeah, I was so good. So yeah, uh, no, so I, I never played the Battleground series. The reason why I recognised Talent Soft is because they did Hidden and Dangerous, oh. which oh, was he's, the he's, sneaky he's, beaky uh, third person. World yeah. War Two base game. Eastern oh, Front Two was like the game that I used to play because my dad was really into like painting soldiers and stuff as well, similar, similar uh, to you. And yeah, he used yeah. to have that one. And there was also so there was Townsoft Eastern Front Two, which is really old school. Mm -hmm. And then I used to like driving all the cars and stuff around the, like the city hex, yeah. hexes because they could go really fast. Because uh, if you drive them over yeah. grass, they'll take like it takes, it takes take ages. Time, yeah. And then uh, there was also the Napoleonic one as well uh, in this in the same thing. So I was like, oh, yeah. maybe Ellis has played that. Yeah. No. Um, so I, I I was playing um, Panzer General. Oh, okay, cool. Which is another, it's another hex-based one, but it's uh, I can't even remember who made that. But yeah, that, that's the one that was I talent soft. I just remembered, Jake, the story you told me earlier on today. <coughs> oh, and yeah. I thought, considering what you just mentioned, it might be a oh, funny yeah. narrative to tell these guys. Maybe. So you, if you, so you know like when, it? like, you know when, like, you, you're just you, you have like something that happens to you in real life, and it, it that the memory of that happening takes you back to something that happened in your childhood. Mm. Um, I think I can't. I, was, I think I was just left on the bed or something. Gabby was like, like just just tapping my tummy or something. Like something just completely innocent and non-sexual yeah, yeah. before any of you make any yeah. jokes. Um, <laughs> the uh, and um, I just had this like flashback, and I was like, oh, because I, like, I thought like, oh, it'd be really painful if I like, I just, if Gabby just moved her hand down and just she just punched Pun me in the dick. For, just why for no would reason. I do that? Why it's not something you would do on a daily sense. basis. It was like a reverse intrusive thought. So I was like, okay, that'd be painful. And then, then I had a flashback. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then I had a flashback to when I was about seven, and um, I remember uh, I asked my dad to, oh, can I, can I stay on the computer because I'd used up all my computer time for the week because apparently mm. that's what 
that's what happened when I was a child, limited to two hours a week. Yeah, same. Oh, God. And um, then he punched you in the dick. <laughs> <laughs> no. And then uh, uh, he said, oh, no, you can't go on it. I got really uh, angry because I was like a, an emotionally unregulated child and then just punched him in the dick instead. <laughs> 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 and then, uh, and then yeah. He walloped his dad in the nads. And then I just, uh, just had a flashback to that and I completely <laughs> forgotten about it until it happened. Like, I haven't had a thought about that memory until like this morning <laughs> so it's like it a good like 25 years later <laughs> amazing I yeah, just, exactly. you need to talk to your dad about it and be like dad I'll me- how did I'll you mention feel it. when I punched you in the balls <laughs> I don't th- I don't think he'll remember it to be honest but I can but give it a go ask, it, ask him and come back next like the, uh, in a few <laughs> yeah. podcast time and give us an update on what he said I know okay. cause just, can you imagine just being an adult and you're like I have my kid I love him so much and for his benefit I must regulate his computer time to to make yeah, sure he exactly. doesn't get addicted and it's like fuck you dad <laughs> wall up in the dick <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. oh, oh, man. Reason God. number 4024 why Ellis doesn't want kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. Oh, he doesn't oh, need God. kids. To, I'll do that for. I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> Save it for oh, Centre Park, shit. mate. Oh, yeah, he, he might be into that. We'll find a, we'll find a quiet moment. <laughs> a quiet moment. It won't be just... quiet once you get punched in the ball. No, I know. <laughs> Slot it into the schedule. Oh, God. Yep. Yes. So, do you have any, like, archery? In- intrusive uh, uh <laughs> like childhood stuff that you remember doing as a child and then you're like oh god that was dumb wasn't it um, the fuck did i do that <laughs> so when i was when i was starting to hit sort of puberty it's probably like for me it was quite early so probably about 10 maybe 9 mm. when i started to really really grow um i especially in the summer when it got hot i was i would sweat so much like you could actually wring my sheets the, the next night. Oh my god! Wow. Like they, they'd come off. That, well, we ended up um, uh, ended up having to get a, um, yeah, well, it's like waterproof match protectors to stop my mattress oh, yeah, from rotting because yeah. it was just yeah. every night you could. Li- I was changing the cha- literally changing the bed every night because it come I've out. I've heard that happens like completely... to guys especially. You just hit an age and then it's like sweat glands yeah. activate. Um, well, I mean, I, li- I, it's, <laughs> I literally grew. I think about a foot over a summer. Do you have, Ellis, those stretch marks that go across the back? I do. And I also have crippling back pain because of it. Right. I was going to say, because I've known a couple of guys throughout my life who, like, I thought there was, like, whiplashes on their back to begin with. But it's because they've gone through such intense growth spurts. So Mm -hmm. I've got them not only horizontally, but I've also got, like very faint now they used to be much more vivid Mm -mm. lightning strike style scars down my back wow because i got shingles proper full-blown shingles when i was because my mum had chicken pox when she was pregnant with me so i got all the antibodies for chicken pox and if you don't get chicken pox you basically get shingles Mm. Oh my and god, shingles, I thought shingles was like a ye olde type thing. No, that, oh. no, 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 no. Shingles basically you, you get if you don't get chicken pox. And it was brutal. Wow. Make you imagine, so imagine like y- your skin. Uh, it's, it's really difficult. So you, um, imagine if your skin is like a towel, right? And yeah. every little tip of the towel that you brush past is like a nerve ending. And every time anyone like brushes it, all of those little tips feels like someone's hammering a nail into your back. Oh, oh my God. God. Holy shit. So you put on a t-shirt and as it rolls down your back, it just feels like all the way down because your nerve endings are on fire. But I've actually Holy got... shit. So I've got scars on my back where the nerves have died. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Yeah. So like, it does, it, like the, the name Shingles uh, sounds exactly how you just described it. Mm-hmm. It has like an automatopoeic uh, yeah. Yeah. experience. Yeah, it really, it really, it's, it's horrible. So it's how really long did you horrible. have that for? Uh, I don't remember for definite. So I, w- I got it when I was 13. Yeah. 13, 14. I was in, I was in uh, Malvern College at the time. So I was, bo- I, was, I was in boarding school when I got it. Right. Uh, Which I makes it worse because how are you meant oh, to recover from that in boarding school? Yeah, well, you just had to, I just, I just had to, not go to not go to school for a week. I think it was about a week that it lasted. Mm. Ah, jeez, that sounds like hell. How are you supposed yeah, to was, lie down then? Uh, you lie on your front. And you oh. hope that it doesn't. Luckily for me, it was just on my back. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah. have it anywhere else. It was just my mm. back. So if I basically lay on my front, didn't put a, t- a shirt on or whatever, yeah, then it was all right. But 
I yeah. just imagine some of the boys thinking it would be a laugh just to be like running and fucking happy slap the <laughs> shit out of your back oh, off you, haven't you? Yeah, that, that, yeah, <laughs> that, would yeah that, 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 that did happen. Oh, no. They hit me, did it with towels. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah. I imagine, yeah. like, because it is... It, it, it's like private. It's like boarding school, like Lord of the Flies, when the lights are out, type thing. Like you have like he, tribunals he, as yeah, punishment. Did you whipped. have to have sex with a pig's head at any point? Uh, no, I did not. And <laughs> God, in no, that's what question, David Cameron Jake. did. Supposedly, that was allegedly, that was allegedly. Yeah, we know it. Happened. And that was university, university, I think. Yeah, oh, yeah it's university. Um, <laughs> on weekends, it got they got a bit stupid at night, but during the week, it's usually fine because we're all fucking naked. Right. Okay. But on the weekends when you don't have much to do. Well, though, we did do school on Saturday until 4 p.m. Nothing scares me more than teenage boys. Like they are a weird breed. They're unpredictable. They, they're unpredictable. And like, they just all hang outside of Sainsbury's. And like, you know, you just, you're walking into the supermarket and just teenage boys, they'll, they'll hang out in a group and they'll just watch you while you go by. Yeah. And it's like the scariest <laughs> thing. Maybe like, you know, creepy full grown men are scarier if you're out and they're following mm. you around. But like, just it's the hordes that they move in mm. that'll no, scare you. I'll tell you something, you scary, something scarier than teenage boys is teenage girls. I suppose it's like... <laughs> it's like <laughs> well, the same thing, but like... They're not They're worse. not as... Yeah. <laughs> like teenage boys, they're, they're more out there. They're more... You know that in, they're threatening you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, teenage, yeah. Teenage girls, it's sort of like, they're probably going to say something and then start all like giggling and, you know. And oh, yeah, so, so, so it's so, like so the, the mental other, insecurity. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so oh. the, the teenage boys, it's either they'll just stare at you or they'll stab you. The teenage <laughs> girls, they'll either, no stare, in they'll between. either stare at you or they'll completely destroy your self confidence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And start rumors and then rip your yeah. life apart. Boys yeah. will yeah. destroy yeah. you in the short term, girls will destroy you in the long term. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they got some plans. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, teenagers in general, just like, what a time. I was a complete cock when I was a teenager. Oh, we all were. Yeah. I don't know anyone who goes through puberty and, like, is okay from that experience. Well, I, was, I was fine. I was pretty good until 17. And then... What happened at 17? I just got fucking got, absolutely got sick of boarding school. <laughs> Fair enough. Is it like um, when Kevin and Perry, you know, when Kevin has his 13th birthday, it's like he's, he's jumping up and down all excited as soon as he hits 13. <laughs> <laughs> Such a brilliant clip. You should find oh, it. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't know. I it's just so good. yeah. Well, we, that uh, show probably hasn't aged well. <laughs> now, now we're on. Now we're on. Uh, we're on. Sorry. We're on uh, the, the topic of back to the topic of the youth again. The and youth. I'm going to do a circle back to TikTok. Oh, oh yeah. it's okay. Been banned in Montana. Oh, as in so the like, state. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Not, not as in Hannah Mont. <laughs> That's no, no, interesting. It's been banned in the entire state. How do they regulate that statewide? I have no idea. I think yeah. if, yeah, you're, what the fuck? if you're... If you're... I'm guessing if your phone is in the state of Montana, then you will not be allowed to download it. or And the website will be blocked. Mm. And because... Uh, I don't know if you know, but like most... Uh, oh God, I'm going to get brutalized in the comments for this, I know, but... In a very well, basic well, term, a download link or things like that can just be a web URL. So you can oh, yeah, like yeah. type in a web URL and it'll download something. So in all reality, all web addresses are just pointing to different places on a server. Yeah. Same with the download things. So you basically just block access to that link between uh, the server So what if you already have it? Device. Oh, uh, so, you, that, so, that would so they actually it. said if you already have it, then then they're not, they're not gonna, they can't legislate to make you uninstall it, mm. but right. they can legislate to stop you from downloading it. No, it's, so been, it's, not, it's not going to work, but... It's been what's banned, this? but not until the 1st of January yeah. next year. What yeah. happens when, like, so let's say you're in Montana, you're like, ah, oh, I'll just nip over the border, install TikTok in the neighboring state, and then come back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's great. It's, it's all on your phone, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's daft. But. Genius. Yeah. <laughs> it's the, it's the, uh, in, in a sense, it's similar to the whole abortion thing, because you can just go to a different state, do it, and then come back. It's a bit oh. more difficult with that, though, because yeah. there are state well, legislations yeah. and healthcare things and insurance yeah. stuff that makes mm. it way more complicated, mm. which is and why... And they all need the, to talk in, to one in another. The, in the principle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, the principle, it's... The yeah, very... It's, 
very, very basic, <laughs> ignoring a load of different complications. Yeah. And you can just uninstall it. It's fine. Yeah. And then, like, yeah, it's yeah, exactly but, but the same. Yes, in, in the thing of that, it's just banned in that particular state rather than mm. everywhere. And also, I, I will clarify as well that it's it's not just on government phones. It's for everyone. Most, yeah. uh, all the, most governments now have banned it on, like, government issues. Well, yeah. That's but fair. it's actually just straight up, like, banned for anyone mm -hmm. to install on, um, on their own devices in Montana. I don't know how I feel about stuff like that because Aww. it's it's conflicting because I personally am struggling with stuff like regulating myself for watching content. Yeah, mm. But at the same time, I still feel like that obviously it depends on the reason why it's been banned. E.g. like put an asterisk here about needs more evidence and information. Mm. But, you know, if it's just about freedom of content sharing, why is that being done? Yeah. Censorship you know, in a way, isn't it? Yeah, and, and, and you know, if it's your business to go and watch TikTok for five hours a day, then that's your business. But I suppose it depends on whether or not that information is being shared to other third parties that... Which it is, yeah. guaranteed. They don't want them being shared to. Yeah. Holy shit, so... so uh, Yeah, I, I just saw, uh, saw the update. Oh, no, I was just talking about the, the fine you get. Um, yeah, that's what I mean. I, I, oh. Yeah, that Nick just updated for us. Yeah, it's... But it's not. But it's not us. It's not the user. Oh, oh it's, it's the ah, company. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Because mm. like, because if their reasoning is the Chinese uh, Communist Party, yeah, uh, they're basically they say the CCP is using the TikTok mm. to spy on Americans, violate their privacy, and collect mm -hmm. personal, private, and sensitive information is well documented. Yes, that is a legit reason to ban a software if it's in the public mm. of national, yeah. if it's in the interest of national yeah. security. Yeah. How Ever, but, sorry, it doesn't look like right, five on. TikTok content creators have filed lawsuits against Montana's government in an attempt to overturn that. Oh, well, and that's not surprising. This there arguing that the law is unconstitutional it. violation of free speech rights. Yeah, it's, but the, I, 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 again, I am not. Who knows? We are not American like lawmakers or understand American law. I don't think Americans well, understand actually, American Alice, law. I, have I a would agree in American lawmaking. Yeah, so. Fair enough. <laughs> I would yeah. assume that national security concerns trump Trump's everything trump <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> trump yeah. wow yeah. yeah so uh so nick's just updated saying that the um the uh, uh, any entity that's offering it to be downloaded uh so an app store app store or yeah. tiktok itself inside montana they will add a ten thousand dollar fine per day for every time someone has offered the ability to download it wow oh, that's crazy that's really interesting but and yeah. do you know what's weird as well is that recently since coming off of tiktok and going on to things like, this was my issue with TikTok, right? Is that I would be using it and I wouldn't consent to the video I was about to watch, mm -hmm. right? So if you're on YouTube and you go to click on a video, you know that, oh, okay, cool, That's funny animated watch, video. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, you're like, okay, cool, animated video. That's what I want. I'm going to click at it. <clears throat> on, I remember like scrolling through eating breakfast on TikTok and a video came up of a doctor or scientist showing the community a cadaver and showing people what the different layers of human skin did after you died. Oh, oh yeah. I've and I those. was just like, what the fuck? Like, I'm just trying to eat eggs. <laughs> 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 I did not consent to this. Oh, yeah. And later on, probably like another a week or two later, I was sitting at the table and then a video on colonic irrigation came up <laughs> and it was not showing oh, the Jesus ass Christ. but there was a tube and it was like so if you just look really closely here we can see that is the <laughs> obstruction from the bowel that has been moved through the tube i was watching someone shit leave their body oh and fly God. off into Gabby, the void did you have a no. nasty shit at any point with your phone nick because it probably could hear it. <laughs> no, <laughs> it genuinely it probably does because it does do that it, it can listen to what you're Listens to what so, you're doing. What, do you reckon, so that means Weird. they've built in a grunting algorithm actually into the yep. app. So like, oh, that Ooh. sounds like a, a bad shit grunt. Well, yeah. okay, if you think about it, I've always grunt. got my phone on me when we're streaming. <laughs> and the amount of times we talk about shit when we are mm. live. Yeah. Oh, yeah, true, is, yeah. It, like, it, you know, is no... It makes sense. I did wonder actually how long it would take us uh, in the first episode of this podcast to get to uh, the topic of poo because oh, it comes up every so time, frequently. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Every episode, yeah. someone start a counter from day dot, and yeah. every time how you talk times about does shit, poo turn up. Yeah. Oh god! Oh, there you go. There's Add one it to the list, the uh, along with every other episode we've ever done of ever anything. <laughs> yeah, the concerns about the concerns that about, about TikTok, I get at least government wide. Uh, whilst they'll say it's to do with. Um, 
you know, protecting people from addicting algorithms, all that sort of thing. And the main thing is that it's a very easy way for bad actors to push propaganda without people oh, realizing what, it. One hundred percent. Because if you if you can if you're the, if you're the Chinese government and you basically want to get the economic edge on America, say, or something a bit more sinister, like uh, I don't know push like anti-american propaganda onto mm. people's phones to then yeah. make to then mm. swing an election mm. in mm -hmm. china's best interest that is like very very easily doable. well i mean it literally um, happened on facebook for the brexit the, vote. yeah yeah but which and, i yeah. was about to say it's not just in regards to china here you know no. it's anyone who wants to pick up that no, social media platform in regards to the actual law yeah for sure yeah. i can see yeah. how that would be tied yeah, in TikTok specifically because it's part owned by yeah the communist party is, is yes but social it, media well, in general is um i think it's like why my biggest my biggest thing in life is learning like how to critically think it is so important that people learn how to do that and like check where that information came from check what that information relates to in the context of how that information was found like not taking stuff for face value including this podcast mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> everything you know? is citation needed yeah did you 100 percent? did you see any of the um the march 23 hearing of the house energy and commerce committee between the ceo of tiktok and I, the I american saw like a, board of, of uh, american stuff. board of americans yeah, yeah. Is that what it's called? What, no. What do they do? Sorry. <laughs> no, but like, you know they like they were basically accusing uh, being owned by controlled by Chinese government and all that, and they kept calling him Chinese. He's not. He's from Singapore. Mm. Oh, for <laughs> fuck's sake! But they just kept and oh. they, I mean, I know he probably has to say it, but he does say ByteDance is not owned or controlled by the Chinese government. It's a private company, which it is, but it probably off record. It probably the Chinese government probably does have access. On the, the record, uh, oh, the Chinese government, one hundred percent. The yeah. Chinese government can access a, a, so any private, private in mm. inverted commas <laughs> company in China can be co-opted by the CCP to mm. do anything that it wants. It's yeah. part mm. of the it's part of the laws and legislations for them creating a company inside China. Their argument was that ByteDance has ByteDance USA. And then ByteDance China, with ByteDance USA being owned by as a subsidiary of the Chinese version. Mm. Mm -hmm. But and they were like, "What? Well, we do not share information between the U.S. branch and the Chinese branch. It is all kept in the U.S." Three weeks later, U.S. people's information found on Chinese server. <laughs> Shocker! <laughs> what? Right? Yeah, you are joking. So, oh no, sorry, he's chief executive of TikTok. Yeah. Uh, Alex, your lights just went pink. Yeah, then. they've just changed to pink. Is that, uh, is that it looks lovely. <laughs> no, no, what you've done with the place? Controls there. Hold on. What was it? <laughs> I think it was uh, green. 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 Oh, oh look changed, at that. I think it's changed side. I'm like, oh, there you go. Nice. Yeah, just putting go. some mood lighting on there. Yeah. Uh, I, did, I did not touch that. <laughs> I liked it. I felt like it was transitioning from serious podcast to, to stripping. Well, well if you want, <laughs> yeah. I could I could absolutely <laughs> screw it up by doing this. Ooh. 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 Uh, yeah, yeah, double. I've got an audio description for the people listening on podcast. <laughs> yeah. Alex oh, yeah. Not his clothes off. He's now showing everyone his penis. <laughs> <laughs> that's, not, that's not happening. Or it's got is flashing it? lights. Oh my, god, oh my god, it's got, it's got it's a rave mount. Yeah. <laughs> rave mount down. Holy Did shit. you say rave mount? <laughs> I got so excited I couldn't get the sentence out properly. Rave mount. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, I wish mine did that. Mine's just like. I look, think yours does do that. Look, this is what mine does. You can't do this, guys. Oh. People on the audio can't hit, can't see I'm any just of this. Jake, I'm just turning to, my lights on and off. Jake, you have to press jump. You press jump. Wait, jump? I don't have a jump button on Oh, mine. do you not I've have got... the same one? No, no, mine's different. I've got flash or <laughs> fade. <laughs> you bought the shit one. Uh, if you press flash, it will probably do it. Okay, here we go. No, right, put your three. penis away. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what amazing... This isn't Hammer Hotel. Content. I know, yeah. yeah. We're talking about lights. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, but good. if they want to know what happened, 
Watch the video on YouTube. It's not worth it. Um, <laughs> it's what? It's, <laughs> it's not worth it's it. It's not worth transitioning nice. over if you're already watching it on the... If you're already listening to it. Yeah. Watch it's it. like literally, literally just faces. Yeah, you're literally moving over for some faces and some flashing lights. You're yeah. fine. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah but, they might but if you like see, faces but... and flashing lights, then why not? Mm, fair. Uh, why not head over to the Fallout 76 cash store? <laughs> yeah. There so will you... be people who jump over just to insult us. You know yeah. that right? Oh, exactly. <laughs> By the way, I'm, your I'm podcast percent. is shit. Get the fuck off yeah, the front page. No, my anus is prepared. I don't yeah. think it'll be about the podcast. The m people who will insult us will likely do it about appearances. Yeah, oh, I 100%. See, yeah. I mean, it's the, that comment from Jake was just an example of someone who was so confident in himself <laughs> that he was like, oh, they didn't stop the podcast. Like, <laughs> they won't even look at my hairband. <laughs> 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 Wait, which comment, sorry? The one you make when people will come over and insult the the podcast oh 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 i see yeah yeah, yeah. it's yeah. not funny if you have to explain the joke yeah no no sorry i, I wasn't um so yeah i, I wasn't now. paying attention is it? no no i was i was just confused about what you meant to be um, fair yeah. i get it neither yeah i think it's just look there's always going to be people on there on online anywhere that will just say anything's shit or like you look shit or yeah. like just it, here's a message to all those people yeah Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care. Like, you're wasting yeah. your energy, dudes. <laughs> <laughs> so Ella's just, like, flipped off the camera. But if you're listening... Oh, yeah, I just made it. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, sorry. sorry. It's just a good... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you yeah, go, that, that, bully that boy. It's, um... No, but seriously, it's like... It, it just... It, uh... It's a massive waste Put of time. Put your energy like, into some counselling or something, mate. Yeah. It's, like, it's, yeah. Not, it's not actually, I don't think, but like, it used to be an excuse, like, people, they do it to make themselves feel better. Yeah. Do they? Or are they just fucking bored? <laughs> I think they're probably think, bored, yeah. Yeah. And it, I don't think anyone's been like, oh, God, I feel so much better after putting people down <laughs> yeah. for no reason on the internet. Like, I'd feel worse, dude. I'd feel fucking terrible I mean, I wouldn't feel it. anything. I'd just get, I'd probably just go have a drink or something. <laughs> Well, like an Alco drink or... Alco drink, yeah. An Alco, Alco pop. An Alco, Alco pop. pop with the boys. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that's yeah. the WKD first... WKD with the lads. Yeah. The first time I got drunk, it was on... Um, I want to say Smirnoff Ice. Yeah, oh, yeah me too. Right, mine was it, my, mm -hmm. it was either Smirnoff Ice or what's the other one? Is there like... Uh, WKD, Bacardi Breezers. Oh, yeah. WKD. I think it was Smirnoff Ice. It was a house pot. I, I, went, like, I went there with like boat. six bottles and by the end of it, I was waiting. <laughs> I was sat on the wall waiting. My dad's picked me up just like... Oh, I didn't know. I didn't throw up. No. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I did. I, I definitely did. Someone got, pushed, yeah. someone got pushed into a pond, though. That was funny. Oh, oh God. Nice. Was it you who pushed them? No. <laughs> someone <laughs> fell into a pond. Oh, someone God. drowned <laughs> after someone forced them into the pond. <laughs> oh, God. No, I do oh. wish, though, that uh, the first time that I got drunk, it was on Smirnoff Ice, because I had these atrocious drinks. Actually, do you have them over here? Purple... Purple. Purple burglar alarm. Purple burglar alarm. <laughs> no, fuck off. Purple <laughs> guana. Is it guana? Guana. Uh, yeah, I think they're uh, guana. Purple guana. Purple guana. How, do you, guana. how do you spell it? Uh, purple. <laughs> no, I know how to spell purple. That's and fine. And then G-O-A-N-N-A. <laughs> G O A double N A. Guana. No, we no, do not have that. Definitely nah. have that. Okay, it's fucking horrific it's key it's definitely like the first... in my opinion <laughs> purple guana is genuine poison is the first fucking article wow. <laughs> where did you bring that i did oh, you purple guana the first one from critic.co.nz is purple guana is genuine poison it's a, oh yeah i just found it it's a mixture of paint Oh, sorry, it's a mixture of sugar, paint in it, and something weirdly metallic. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> I just thought guana is mankind laughing in the face of God. <laughs> yeah. Can I just say no? He just said, with the deep purple hue of the liquid, one would assume it would be grape flavoured. It's not even close. It's just purple flavour. Yeah. I was, yeah, tasting notes. It tastes like purple. Hang on. Tasting notes. Purple. Pairs well with <laughs> hard drugs, ballet dancing, yelling at children, <laughs> passing out with your pants still on. <laughs> Froth level far too high to be Ooh. safe. Taste oh rating one point five out of ten. Oh, so yes, one hundred percent. Gabby, what's Tui? Uh Tui's a beer. So apparently this says here for the incredibly brave and or stupid, uh, the editor tells the tale of the mythical mythical Tuatara. Served exclusively in the CDS Gisborne bars. 50% Tui, 50% Purple G. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, shout out to Gizzy. Shout yeah, out to Gizzy. Gizzy you made it on the first episode. It, sounds like, it just sounds like Snakebite, but even worse. Yeah. Honestly, 
It wasn't good. I, the first time I got drunk, it, it was under a bridge drinking purple <laughs> G's <laughs> in the pissing rain. No. Underaged, I might say. It was um, under so a bridge. <laughs> yeah, oh, mate, I had a- Classy. My childhood was not great. <laughs> so, yeah, but no one fell in a pond, so there was that. There mm. was oh, yeah, don't fall in a river, that. though. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> no comment on that one. When you were in New Zealand, Jake, what did you drink when you were going to parties? Milk. Um, yeah, just <laughs> straight just, up milk. Just took a point no, I drank, um, uh, yeah, just Alco Pop, Smirnoff Ice Black, 7%, because I'm hardcore. Yeah. Oh, the Smirnoff Ice uh, Black was really, like, that was the cloudy yeah, one, wasn't it? I actually like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did it's like it. It was really quite yeah. nice. But yeah. then, um, Do they yeah, still I, sell I, it now? Mm, yeah. I, went, I went to a party once, drank like three of them, and then like, actually legit three, I was like, 16 or something something like that and then um yeah just got like Absolute like really blasted. really drunk i needed mm. to be sick well, i mean <laughs> that's then, not surprising there's like what seven percent there's like the bottles not, are a liter aren't they normally yeah liter uh, or 750 like, no, no, mil no no like liter something like that. no no the ones that, like i was there was pathetic, oh you want the 330 like, mils oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> but like it's still quite a lot seven yep. percent when like oh, you're 16 strong, you know? yeah. and you yeah. haven't you know, not used to drink. Well, PSA, underage drinking is not the one. Yeah, don't, don't do, do it, guys. stupid. Yeah. It'll stunt your brain development. We we'll look at Jake. It would explain a lot about me. <laughs> if we just uh, go circle back all the way to WKD and Smirnoff Eyes itself. If you went to like a proper like party or you went out and you bought Smirnoff Ice or WKD, the looks you would get, like, what are you drinking? Always, but it's the reason it's so good is it tastes nice. It's better than yeah. beer. But you, if you drank it in public, you would get looks of just. I would debate no, that, you would. Than, that it tastes better than beer because I oh, like no, beer. Oh no, one hundred percent. I did know someone though who got drunk after one smell off ice. It was really funny. <laughs> was that you? No, no, it was one of my friends who'd never <laughs> drunk at the time, and he was like, he got, I think he got to like twenty one or something, and he never had a drink. And yeah, he had a spread off ice in a pub, but he was absolutely smashed. But they do, they <laughs> taste really nice. Yeah, they do. That's why. That's why they. Have, yeah, it's all. It's all um, marketed nope. to be nice, isn't it? Yeah, mm. yeah, but, and, market, and it's marketed for binge drinking, which is not good. Yeah, it's marketed for eighteen plus. So I've been having an advert promoting binge drinking. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much what I was doing a minute ago. <laughs> no, yeah, no, no. <laughs> it was the complete. I literally said the complete opposite. I said, "Don't do that." Okay. Yeah, but how do you know it's not reverse psychology? You know, don't drink the alcohol. You won't have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that's enough for this podcast for this week. Thanks very much for listening. We'll be back. Uh, no, it's terrible. All right, guys. <laughs> Don't say in this stream oh, now. That's yeah. enough. I love the term. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> that's, that's enough. enough. Yeah. Too, We're much too much fun. Yeah. <laughs> See you next week. Um, and this is the perfect way to end it. I, is us arguing about how to end it and then just fade <laughs> into the music. I guess. Like, I guess we want people to uh, like send in funny shit on the Reddit for us to read out because we didn't get to read our funny news stories, which we'll probably do. Well, we got, we got through a couple. I tried to circle back and get a couple of them oh, in. No, no, what I'm saying is we should do those next, next week. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, there is one so that Should we read out a meme out some... comment, maybe, once per episode? Oh, yeah, we could go through the meme. Oh. Meme of the week! Oh. Meme of the week! This yeah. week's meme comment, meme comment was... Well, so we should just explain what we mean by this. I wouldn't... Basically... Oh, did... Okay, no? well, the TLDR okay. is that on our work Discord, we have a chat specifically dedicated to meme comments we receive by the community. And that's meme, M-E-M-E, -E, not mean comments, although oh, a lot of them can simple. be. But, oh, oh, most of the time it is meme. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the time they're fucking most, savage. Most is brutal. Um, <clears throat> so the name has been blanked out on this one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and this, the first comment oh, we yeah, have yeah. says came here from xbox youtube being unable to comment through the app to tell you your content is shit <laughs> improve it literally offensive on how bad it is <laughs> unfunny uninteresting shit happens literally every game being made out to be rare occurrences I hope this ain't what all your content is, or you better pray the world never runs out of 12-year-olds subbing on their parents' account. <laughs> I forgot about that. Inspired. I forgot about that. One of my favorite comments we've it's ever so had. Good. Because, because they 
stopped watching on their console yeah. and then booted up YouTube, <laughs> yeah. then opened up Kevin the video us. again on their phone or on their computer <laughs> and then typed it out. Just they were, We pissed them off that much. Yeah. And I take such pride Amazing. in that. Yeah. yeah, good. Good job, everyone. Well done. Oh, yeah. fire. So good. Yeah. Oh, God. So thank you for that. Yeah, um, cheers. Yep. Uh, that was a winner, that was. Yeah, that was, yeah, that that was, was great. Yeah, yeah. So if you've got any, uh, I don't know, don't, like... <laughs> I mean, don't go out of your way to be a bitch, but, yeah, like, exactly, if you yeah. want to be a bit spicy, you may end up on here. Yeah. Yeah. And we will take the piss out of you and tell you you're a twat. Exactly. And we've got, like... And we, we check everything. So, like, all yeah. socials, including Reddit and stuff, all we the YouTube all the comments. comments. Like, we see you. Yeah. yeah. We fucking see you. We see you, asshole. <laughs> I mean, if you want to leave a the nice creepy comment. DMs that slide in every now and then. Yeah, we get your creepy DMs are also they highlighted in this channel. Too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, well, yeah, all Gabby said. Let's leave nice ones as well. That's also nice. Yeah, yeah but they don't make um, it. But they don't, don't make it. Yum, yum, they don't make it into the mean comments. <laughs> yeah, no, they don't. They're in the nice comments section, which we doesn't have. exist. No. Um, <laughs> but yeah, thank you for all the nice comments as well, because they're. It, yeah, it's nice. Oh, we love the nice comments, but every now and then when one is so... Uh, so... Oh. Exceptionally <laughs> vitriolic. I forgot all about yeah. this one. Oh, yeah, go on. Do you want to read... Oh, should, we, should we have a couple? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. we've, we've been saving these up since... Hang on, this, this one? Um, the, so, the 20th of January, 2022. Mm -hmm. that, we've got a, an entire year and a half's worth of mean slash meme comments uh, oh, wait, to read out. At? Oh, no, you, you, you go, you go. Oh, no, I just I was just scrolling down and I just found one I forgot about, which I just quite funny. Go um, on, far away. Go on, then read it out. 110% feel dirty saying I have a crush on Gabby, even though she is from New Zealand. Oh, little <laughs> pebbles in your mouth, LMFAO. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what, Wait, what does the start of that say again? 110% feel dirty saying I have a crush on Gabby, even though she is from New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> the, what? what? Okay, oh, first of all, I don't think that person had seen me yet, so I have the feeling that you're about to be disappointed. <laughs> second of all, but that, second? that was in reference to how I was talking about how your teeth are kind of like little... Oh, yeah, 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 oh, yeah, I yeah, thought yeah. they were just going mad. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, it's um, our audience, it could well be, to be honest. Yeah, sorry, mate. I, I understand the feeling dirty. <laughs> but, like, keep it to yourself, maybe. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple Fuck of weird me. ones in there as well. Um, there, there, are, there are some absolute gold in there. The, there's one which is... Um, <laughs> oh no, it's a bit mean. I, I feel no, bad saying the mean ones. No, no, say the mean ones. They're funny. You're not spicy. the one who. You're not the one who wrote it. So just okay, it's just it's just really. Oh, I don't know. Really hate hearing about this Gabby person. Hopefully she doesn't become someone we see all the time. Signed. Well, signed. Jacob's jackets. <laughs> 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 oh yeah there's i think there's a lot of just... it's interesting because there was a bit of backlash when i joined the channel <laughs> and understandably but i also think there's that um an element of that parasocial as well and i'm not just saying that it's this because i understand that a few people quite a few probably find me quite annoying and that's you know alex <laughs> 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 the subtle smile um but there's also that element, I think, of, like, someone gets into a relationship and you just decide then that that's almost something that you don't like. You know, and you see it with mm. other content creators when they get into relationships and there's just this anger about it. Um, the most recent one, though, is pretty good. Oh, yeah. That's really brutal. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna this one uh, we've got here. Jake wants to keep the fringe long to hide his airport of a forehead. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ! So, oh, yeah, oh. I just, I just worry that like we're going to encourage people just to. It's basically going to be like, oh, roast me, isn't it? After a yeah. while, and people are just going to okay. take it too far. Let, let them. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fine. I think, uh, yeah. No, if they get, to, I think it's far. They get banned. Simple. Yeah. Oh, that's true. If you're going uh, to you, no, would... be an asshole and like on purpose over and over again, everything to try and get a comment on in in here, yeah. then we're just going to ban you. We're not going to read it. Simple yeah. as that. But but then we, isn't that kind we, of again, entrapment? Because then we, like, we're encouraging people to like be mean to us well, no, and then no, also we're, banning we're, them we're as a result of that. We're simply telling them not to. They're, they're going, oh, well, I want to get my comment in a video. <laughs> Thinking it'll be really funny. 
if they're doing like that, then they're, they're not people we want as our audience members. Mm. Yeah, well, it's a bit of a roller coaster. I don't think I've ever been in a job that has caused me to be as self conscious as this one has. No, you God, know, no. <laughs> like normally you go to like. I don't know, let's say you work in Tesco and you go in and you do your job and you do what it is and then you go home and that's it. And if anyone has a mean thought, they usually keep it to themselves. Yeah. Everybody here just just blasts you on the internet and there's nothing you can do about it. Mm. Anonymity. I I think one of my favorite ones I've had directed at me in some of the... It's happened a few times, but like... Does Kathy use hair dye and piercings as a substitute for a personality? <laughs> I, like, I just fucking love it. Oh. Jesus Christ. That's tasty. Uh, That's so brutal. Oh, somebody um, get the aloe though. Yeah. Oh. Spicy. Yeah. It's, yeah, the relationship dynamics as well are interesting because obviously, and this has been talked about before on previous, well... When was it when the last podcast no, we, we came talk, out? We, talk, we talked about it, if you're talking about the parasocial stuff, we talked about it in the fake podcast that we were going to we were practicing with right them. okay so I, never, I don't think it ever actually got any yeah no yeah. it was the first one remember like we yeah, did the it, first yeah. like it was it was ages ago yeah mm. it was a good few months in the it? first chunk that we did yeah because yeah. I, I was gonna say like the relationship dynamics between all of us when we're not on air are so different usually <laughs> mm. <laughs> compared to what you see online mm. um yeah. yeah yeah most of the time like we don't throw as much abuse at each other in day to day for what uh, as you can probably tell it's yeah. like far more chill yeah more well, that's because <laughs> we're just we're just people don't understand that the uh, in a way it's it's still us on the videos and on the streams and whatnot but yeah you're still kind of playing a, I, I always tell people you're playing a character it's a bit like acting so you take your own personality and you amplify it you I amplify guess. certain yeah. bits of it that you know will get people funny so i will mm. amplify my i amplify my frustration because I know people like watching people get angry. I yeah. will amplify my well actually side because <laughs> again it creates Because I bottle it wounds. all up on the day and then yeah, it exactly. just come yeah. out. Yeah. 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 And then it helps. But I amplify my SpongeBob energy that I <laughs> Yeah. 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 <laughs> Kath gets far more ditzy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it is something. And I think like another thing, and I mean because we all rag on Jake, and it it is Basically, the contract you sign up to when you join WP is ragging on Jake, right? Mm. <laughs> well, everyone's got a quota. Yeah, it's it's exactly. ragging on everyone. Everyone, everyone is... Everyone, everyone is safe. Another. Everyone is open. You're all of your foibles, neuroses, mm -hmm. everything is open to having fun poked at it. And you just have to yeah. sort of kind of smile and nod and accept it. Mm -hmm. And you've got to smile and nod and accept that people in the... Uh, people who watch will not understand the limits uh, that we all know each other and yeah. we know what we can say will not offend mm. and you have to accept that the, pa the fact that people who don't know us are going to try and do the same thing in the comments section because they think they know us when they don't yeah, uh, it, it's, yeah. it's just a part of, mean, I think the common denominator here though is the fact that we're all connected by ragging on Jake in one way or another that's mm. kind of like mm. and so in a way um, it might be different because obviously like like Kath and Ellis, you two will go at each other, you know, occasionally. Oh, and, yeah. you know, it's it makes yeah. for good content, but there's also that point, and you've seen this before, and also that I see it quite often as well. It's like if I'm ragging on Jake, people just think that I'm like that Abusive. all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, but, um, we've, we've had, a, I think there might be some meme, some of the comments, of them, I can't, I can't be bothered to go and try and find it, but I've definitely seen somewhere uh, people have, um, is he, I can't remember if it was either they accused Kath of being abusive or me of being mm -hmm. abusive yeah. towards each other and like what and they're like why are they married when they argue like this it's like you you do realize this is for it's a joke it's a yeah. joke it's, a it's not bro. real like because yeah. <laughs> the way that i, interact, bro. Would be together I get asked all like the that. time like oh what was yours and ellis's last argument and stuff like that we don't argue yeah. like li like i know it sounds really <laughs> like oh me and my husband we don't argue but like we don't yeah there's a thing called communication yeah, yeah. yeah and, and that's great and, but it's also this really interesting like i mean if, can you imagine i think people must think that like let's say jake and i the cameras are off we're hanging out and then i just turn around and i'm like jake your penis is tiny dude like yeah <laughs> yeah. yeah what do you think i'm doing no 
Well, that never happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just, yeah, the dynamic of our relationship is so different to what yeah. it is on air. Um, and it's just, yeah, it's interesting because I think there's, there's a bit of a lack of insight there in regards to that. And I understand it because we don't show it. Yes. You know, I can't be the caring, loving person I like to think that I am, mm. you know, to Jake when we're on air because then you come across as like an... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. This is, that's why I said I like to think that I am. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, you I mean, it's, are. it's true. Like, it's, it's, when we, we we had it, we discussed about we discussed it like a while ago, didn't we? We were saying like at the moment, like obviously you know the, everything's going really well and the channel's going real, but there's very little um, of us in it. Yeah, it's the yeah. curated versions uh, of ourselves characters mm. that are on there. Yeah, and so if you actually like. A lot of people, I get asked this a lot from like, you know, uh, from personal Twitch and uh, one personal Twitch, Twitch streams and on like things like Instagram, Twitter and all that sort of thing. People are like, you've got like 700, you know, 700 plus thousand subscribers. Like how come all of your socials are so, like personal socials are so small? Because obviously yeah. people expect because they've got a big <laughs> YouTube yeah, channel, the, they you expect yeah. big, yeah. big, so, but you got to sort of say to them, well, y yeah, we got a lot of subscribers, but we don't actually like that youtube channel itself doesn't actually really have any personality like singular personality to it, or our own mm -hmm. literal yeah. personalities it's 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 a very here is funny stuff yeah. you laugh at funny stuff ha 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 the here videos, is more funny stuff laugh yeah. at funny stuff ha 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 the, videos the characters are kind of, they're kind of know, like very much they're, they're they've been edited by design to be mm. like as funny as we can make humanly it. possible yeah. mm. with the content that you put into it so that that quite often that doesn't leave a huge amount of room for actually like uh our like true personalities mm. but they are still there they're just different but yeah, the you, experience you the of watching bits. a video is more like watching five or four people as a whole interact mm. with each other in a off quite often you know ridiculous way mm. um rather than just like one particular person yeah. uh so yeah yeah and, and plus like with us obviously like saying you know, we, we all turn our bits of our personalities up but then in the edit again those bits tend to be highlighted on top because obviously they're the funny bits yeah. so not only are we amping up those bits of our personality but then they're the bits that are being highlighted over and over and over again because they're yeah. the ones that spawn off the funny conversations and the and yeah. you know the bits and the slapstick moments and the yeah. jokes mm -hmm. and whatnot mm -hmm. so all you'll see is the is the constant cycle mm. of our uh, sort of our uh, silly bits, our neuroses, our uh, bad habits. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. the, well, actually, like, you know, the being a know it all, like Jake scuffing up. Like, people would think that Jake scuffs up every single English sentence he ever says <laughs> because that's all you would ever see on the videos. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and to an extent, it's, you see it a lot on the streams as well. But again, that's because of the environment that we're in. As you can tell, yeah. he is actually quite a generally quite a coherent human being. <laughs> generally yeah, yeah i do times. i think that is is a point because it's it's compartmentalized you know and you don't see everything about that person mm. you know and I, also with that in mind when it comes to the streams and things as well it's really difficult because it's much like i was saying you know mostly if you're working in a job let's say tesco's i don't know why that's my go-to but let's say that you are in that job the people who see you on a bad day are usually your co-workers yeah. mm. and we turn up to the streams or podcasting now like five days a week if not sometimes more if we need to do bulk recording mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we're not always going to be on top form which no. means sometimes we're going to have bad days such as i don't know me in the middle of concentrating on a stream telling jake shut up or something like that or yeah, yeah we have those <laughs> moments where we break and mm -hmm. it's like shit and you know afterwards that you put in that care and you like talk to people about it but it's so difficult when you try and like describe that to other people what that looks like or yeah you know how you navigate that outside of just being an entertainer who's basically on all the time yeah mm -hmm. you know um so it this is a, such a strange job i love it i absolutely love it mm -hmm. but no one trained me for this yeah exactly <laughs> no. there's no handbook there's no pre preparation it's... for doing this sort of job yeah you just gotta learn along the way and hopefully you don't make uh, any big enough mistakes that kills it for you you yeah. know exactly and it's <laughs> yeah. the same with the podcast you know like this while it's not new to us is completely new you know, yeah. Yeah. Mm. so I, I think the dynamic, obviously, being first episode is going to completely shift like 
10 episodes, 100 episodes in, wherever yeah, we get exactly. to. Yeah, exactly. It'll be more comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. One thing I think could be funny is potentially asking people if they're engaging on Reddit to start doing, like, at the end of the podcast, one question for the equivalent of, like, an agony ant type thing. Um, oh, yeah. And we just pick, like, the funniest one out that we can have a chat about before wrapping yeah. it up. Because so if, you, if you've got any problems that we can help you solve, then just <laughs> go on, go to our Reddit. We'll add, like, a, a podcast flair there. And then just select mm. the podcast flare and then ask some questions there. I think that's that's the goal of this yep. podcast. Yeah. Real or get, imaginary, I will yeah. point out or, as well. Or yeah. any funny stories or anything yeah. that you think yeah. would, might make yeah, us yeah, laugh. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, just put yeah. it on there. Yeah. Because uh, I think our aim is to kind of uh, get people on the Reddit and uh, interact, engage with you guys yeah. on Reddit so we can have uh, like a, a two-way street between this podcast and the Reddit community mm -hmm. we would we would do it on discord but like the problem is the posts just don't they're not it's not permanent enough um yeah for and the to, discord's already kim busy <laughs> it's yeah it's pretty busy so like yeah I also think reddit, reddit it upvotes itself so there's a self-moderating yeah. mm -hmm. yes. part of it um but one thing i would say is just maybe keep in mind of a somewhat light-hearted or positive question or comment because yeah. um we cannot hand out medical or mental health advice oh, <laughs> no, yeah, no, yeah. No, no. nothing like nothing serious yeah Genuinely we can't nothing do it. Serious. an example yeah. might be like oh i'm gonna i'm thinking of painting my wallpaper what color should i do it or like yeah, exactly. yeah. maybe not as dull as that but or awkward <laughs> social interactions that you've yeah. had not as shit as that yeah. something that yeah. Yeah. Like I was at work and I had to take a dump at the same time as my boss. Do I maintain eye contact? <laughs> yeah, or exactly. Yeah, that's that the sort kind of thing. Of yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so yeah, the uh, the Reddit is just called Worst Pre Made Ever. Just search for it. It should be our yeah. slash Worst Pre Made Ever. Uh, well, and yeah, I think we're going to remember finish up this. an hour ago when we said we were going to finish. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> So I think we're going to finish up now. Uh, thanks very much for listening to this first... Oh, the f well, I guess it's the seventh episode. If you want some more podcasts from like two years ago, go check out the podcast YouTube channel. Those aren't yeah. and will probably never be on uh, podcasting platforms. Um, they're on but YouTube, yeah, they're, they're from a while ago. They're like two, mm. three years ago. That's back when um, I had the office in Cardiff. It's that true, was pre-pandemic, yeah. wasn't Cardiff. it? Cardiff, it was, yes. Cardiff. Um, and we can do it all in person. But yeah, hopefully we should be... Over the next couple of months, we should be most of us should be doing this in person once we get an office yeah. sorted out. Fingers in crossed. Where we are now, but yeah. Um, thanks very much for listening and watching, everyone. If you're still watching on YouTube, um, if we'll you're still watching, or you've turned, <laughs> if you've already turned <laughs> off, like, it's not half out. Long. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, cool. well, we'll be back same time. Yeah, next week. I'll see you next Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> yes. oh Excellent. That's see it. you next Tuesday. Everyone I win. Clapping. <laughs> Woo!